To download Skype, we need to go to Safari. Let's click on Safari in our dock here. I'm just going to go up to Google and type in Skype. We then click on the top link, which is Skype. Once this page has loaded, we click the Get Skype button here. Then click on this one down here that says Get Skype for Mac OS X. And then last time, download Skype on the left here. There's a free version and Skype Premium. Uh, Skype Premium has to be paid for and you get certain uh, advantages here, but most people are happy with the free version. We so click on download Skype. Okay, so my Skype download has now begun. Um, this is because I've already signed in. If your Skype hasn't automatically started downloading, you may have to either sign in with your Skype account or create a new one. Once that account has been created, your Skype download will begin in the top right hand corner here. Okay, now that Skype has finished downloading, we can get rid of this window and we need to open the Skype at disk image which has appeared in our downloads folder. So we click that and it will mount this Skype volume on our desktop. Now this is a bit where people sometimes get confused. This is Skype the application, but it's not on our computer yet, it's inside this volume, which is sort of like a USB. You know, when you plug that in, it appears as a, bit, uh, a separate volume on the computer. We now need to drag Skype to our Applications folder. We can drag it into the folder on the right here, or Applications on the left. I'm just going to drag it on top of the one on the right. Skype is now copying across into our Applications folder. Okay, so now we go to Applications, scroll down to S, uh, we'll see that Skype is sitting here. Now once Skype is in our Applications folder, we no longer need this volume, so we can drag this to the trash, which will eject that volume. We can also get rid of the Skype disk image here, as we've successfully installed the program. And that is how Skype is installed. Okay.